room. My name's Brittany. I don't know shit about makeup, but today I'm gonna show you a full face of Amazon's top rated makeup. Most of this makeup is under $6, and I'll put the link in the description box below if you wanna grab any of these. And as always, I'm glad you're here, so make sure you subscribe, like, stick around. I'm here for you every single week, twice a week, and don't forget to join me on Sundays for Sunday service. And that's just where I make a really big deal out of ordinary things on a Sunday. Would love to have you. First up, ladies, it's prime time. We are trying Wet n Wild Photo Focus 3-in-1 Primer Water in Coconut. Wow. Smells like suntan lotion. I love that. $4.98. This is vegan. This is for any type of skin. And for reference, mine is oily with a dash of adult acne and a little dry at the same time because that makes sense. I don't really know the correct steps for makeup. Some people do their foundation first and then some people do their eyeballs first. I kind of just do whatever I feel like. Today, I feel like doing foundation first. Also part of the Photo Focus collection, we have Wet n Wild foundation. For reference, this is in soft beige, $4.69. Now, to go with that, we have a foundation brush that came from Amazon, $3.69. That feels good. Honestly, I just put foundation on with my hands, so I'm happy to have this. Oh, I like this little stick. This brush is definitely A plus. It is a little like compacted, I guess it's supposed to be like that. I don't really know, but I like this. And I'm kind of trying to stay away from my eyeballs because I'm having eyeball wrinkles right now. I don't think those go away, but what I do know is the makeup gets stuck under them. It makes me look older. So you kind of just have to not wear makeup around your eyeballs. Let's just put more on because why not? I like the foundation. Can you see that? By the way, I don't have a filter on this. So this is like a legitimate makeup tutorial, mainly because I don't know how to use a filter because if I did, I'd probably use one, okay? Because I have some bad skin. Anyway, I don't know if you can see or not, but I do have oversized pores and this kind of buffs them out in a weird way. Get your gobbler, ladies. Get your gobbler so it's not too toned. I like the foundation because it's super thick. I don't know. You can definitely feel it though. It's not like lightweight by any means. Call it a full coverage. Now we're gonna do some highlighting and some contouring because I'm really good at that. I could not find a highlighter or a shadow brush or highlighting kit, whatever they're called, under $5. So we have concealer and dark foundation. So for our dark part of our contouring, we're using Maybelline Fit Me foundation stick in a dark tint. This is in Toffee 509. For our highlighter, we're gonna be using this concealer by Maybelline. It's in shade 110 or Fair. It's an instant age rewind with a little snowball on here. You can grab this for $5.46. I like this little cranking thing with the snowball. Maybe I don't like the snowball. It's a little wet. Cause when I do concealer, I like some thick ass concealer. I don't know ladies, I don't know what's going on with my eyeball, but I've got something on my eyeball and not only do I have like wrinkles here, but I have them here and they don't look bad until I put makeup on. So it's like the universe saying, you really shouldn't wear that. Just don't, but I do it anyway, cause I'm a rebel. Okay, so highlighting goes a little something like this. And then we're gonna highlight here for our nose to look smaller because the goal is to make it look like we don't even have a nose that's normal, right? We're just following along, ladies. Okay, this, I don't know why we do it here, but we do, so just do it. We also do it here. Okay, this is actually nice. That, that feels good. After you get some strokes going, whoo, ladies, this is nice. I like that snowball. That feels good on my skin. I know what you're thinking, like you're putting concealer all over your face. Yeah, I am, okay? And normally I have really bad acne, so this is like, I might as well just draw it all the way on. Okay, is that it? Then for some reason we do like three chicken legs. Don't know why, do it. And now we're gonna go back with our darker foundation. And we do this to make it look like we have cheeks, cheekbones, we do this so our face looks longer. We do here. Nose is small. Here makes our face look whatever, like an oval something. Okay, perfect. Now we blend this. To do that, you're gonna need a beauty ball. This one is by the brand Aesthetica. It is basically a beauty blender. I mean, I don't really know because I've never had a real beauty blender, but this is a knockoff beauty blender. You can get this for $3.49. We wet the beauty ball till it puffs up to a huge beauty ball. Give it a little squeeze. See, now it's huge. I love that. Okay, now we just blend this together and 
from what I gathered is tapping works better than stroking, ladies. So we're just gonna tap this. It's quite a boring process being a woman or just wearing makeup in general, no matter who you are. It's really like, when are we gonna stop this? Whew, we're gonna have to take a break. My arms are getting tired. It's a lot of work being a cake decorator. Now this is the part I always mess up on is the nose. You can always tell that I've done this. I'm not good at that part, I'm working on it. We blend this dark into our hairline, mainly because I watched a YouTube video and the guy told me to do it, so now I just do it. We need to get this makeup off these little brows. Yes, ma'am. Powder. We have, again, Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. This one's in shade 20, which is light medium, and it is for all types of skin, 517. Now we're just gonna set this. What happened to you? We're gonna have to get a frame for that. And now we're gonna set this stuff and I didn't buy any brushes off Amazon. I'm just using the ones I have, but I got this one at Big Lots, I think. I'm not sure. That's good. I mean, my makeup does look pretty uh, compacted here. I'm okay with that. Not my favorite, but it's good for $5. Now let's prime our eyeballs. We have Wet n Wild, again, the Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer, $4.99. This just goes on our eyelids here. And put it at the brow, why not? To jazz up these eyeballs, we have Wet n Wild Color Icon. This palette is called Walking on Eggshells. $2.98 for this guy, and we're pairing it with a Wet n Wild brush that we got from the Dollar Tree. $1 for this. We're gonna take this cream color and just dab a dab a do, do a little twirl and swirl, and put it on these lids. Whoa, perfect. And this is where it starts looking scary. Don't worry, we're gonna really do this high pigmented and take the bronzer and tone this puppy down. But for now, we're gonna look like Dolly Parton and that's okay. Okay, that's pretty. It's got a nice little sheen to it. We're gonna leave this looking super crazy and we're gonna move on to the brows. This is Maybelline Total Temptation. Ooh, I like that. Soft brown brow pencil with a little scrubby dub. $5.99. I like how this is angled, but it may be a little dark for me. I know this looks scary, but don't worry. When we put the bronzer on, it's really just gonna tone it down. But scariness aside, I like this. It's definitely not a favorite because I'm not used to using a pencil. I use a little brush, like an angled brush, and I find that to be very easy. This is a challenge. It would require a steady hand, which I do not have. We're gonna go ahead and get some bronzer. This is a Rimmel Natural Bronzer in shade Sundance, number 27, 397. got this brush from an Ipsy bag, would not recommend. Zero out of 10 on Ipsy. And I just do a little light kiss here. This tones out the eyeshadow and kind of blends in the eyebrows. Or that's what I like to tell myself. I don't really know. Let's get some eyeliner. We have Revlon Color Stay Skinny Liquid Liner All Day Wear. This is waterproof, cry proof. It has a skinny tip. It's not vegan, but it is $5.09. This is actually super nice and it's a felt tip brush. A lot of them have those like hair brushes that kind of just go everywhere when you put them on. So I prefer a felt tip. I normally use Morphe, Mophie, Morphe, whatever. A really overpriced eyeliner, but I happen to really like it. So this one has the same similar kind of tip. Here we go, ladies. This requires full concentration. First impressions, not great, this is going to take a while, but maybe that's a good thing. It doesn't hold a lot of 
product on this little brush. It seems to be for like super, super skinny. Well, the name shit. Okay, the name said it was super skinny. Okay, so this is a very skinny brush. They're right. I prefer a thicker brush because I'm a one and done kind of gal. I just want to swipe this on my eye and be done with it. If I make a mistake, I make a mistake. If I don't, I don't. But I don't spend a lot of time on this. This, you're going to have to spend a lot of time on. So here we have eyeball number one. Now, matching the other side is always a pain in the ass. It's also a day ruiner. Big day ruiner for me. You just hope for the best. It's not the best, but if I keep going with eyeliner, my face, it, it doesn't look good. Cause then I start putting more on and it makes my eyes kind of droopy and it makes my head look like a fishbowl or like I have fish eyes where they kind of go outwards and they're supposed to kind of go inwards a little bit. It makes me look a tad bit psychotic. So we're just gonna stop while we're ahead. Um, all that to say, I'm not so crazy about this skinny Revlon Color Stay liquid liner. Uh, oh, it's running here. Now I usually do the liner first because then I can cover it up with brown eyeshadow if it looks like shit. In this case, it looks like shit. We're gonna need to refer to the brown eyeshadow palette. The walking on eggshells. So we're gonna go in, whoopsie, with this dark brown, which is a little too dark, but that's all we got. Just taking some kind of brush I got from some kind of bag. Don't know. And you drop it off here. Just drop, literally just drop it off in the corner. And that's going to meet this liquid part and blend it together. So nobody really knows what's going on. Not even me. Then we're going to take, ooh, that's got shiny in it. I hate that. Then we're going to take this shiny rose, uh, pink, dusty rose, and put that in the middle. We don't clean our brush because we don't have time and it also just kind of blends everything together. Perfect. Now we're gonna go in with a light color, this shit ass brown. Drop it off right there. Then we take our brush and we literally just blend this. Arts and craft time, folks. Just do some blending. Do a little shading. And then you'll get a different color and Honestly, we just don't think about it. Whatever it is, it is. There are no mistakes in art, or as one would say, makeup artistry. Wait, let's put some more dark right here. We don't want it to be too dark, because we're gonna go back with our bronzer and put it on our eyes too, because that makes sense. Mirror the other side. Now we're gonna go back in with this bronzer and put it on our eyeballs. Mascara time. Today we are trying Essence Lash Princess. This is the waterproof one. I have tried the other one and I hated it. It really irritated my eyes. $4.99 for this gal. We are using our Dollar Tree eyelash curler. Highly recommend, 10 out of 10. Ah. Oh, we've got some residue. Okay, so, so far this one works looks a little bit better than the other one. It does make them look kind of spider leggish, leggish y but I like mascara that you really don't have to fuck with, okay? We're not spending 20 minutes doing five different tubes of mascara. It all does the same thing. I'm just trying to find one that does it the quickest way. This is going pretty quickly, but it does have the look of those 3D mascaras. You know what I'm talking about? Here they are. These are Young, Young Neek or whatever. I don't know, there was like a big run on these a while ago where people were selling them some kind of like gimmick or whatever, but I actually enjoyed these because they did work. But if you used it too much, it'd give you like this fibery spider leg shit and it would come off. Actually, those are old because I used to wear those like when I used to go out with my friends like and drink. And that was a while ago. I mean, we're talking six, six, seven plus years ago. And I remember I'd get a little sloppy sometimes and my fiber lashes would be all over my face, smeared black. And I would see myself in the Uber rear view mirror thinking, you gotta get your shit together, sis. Uh, still don't have my shit together, but have retired those kind of nights. Actually, hmm, I like this. While my black mascara is still kind of wettish, I put blue mascara over it. This is my favorite one. This is L'Oreal Volumous Original Paris in Cobalt Blue. $5.99 for this gem. I love this stuff. It smells delicious and it just makes your eyes look cool. It's like a little fun. Now it's time to do some highlighting. We have Wet n Wild Mega Glue Highlighting Powder. This is in Golden Flower Crown, 455. How I normally use this is I go back 
and put more concealer on because why not right ladies so we do the same thing because i'm telling you i got this like eyeball like thing right here that just makes a shadow and it's just hard to get rid of so the answer to that is just to compact more more of this concealer more on the nose layered cake back in with the beauty ball tap 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 more dark part on the nose i'm using a foundation or concealer brush wet and wild also by the dollar tree and just tappy 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 and swiping this down creating a false reality for my face why not it appears that my nose is crooked again but we're not too concerned we're just gonna let it ride now we're gonna take our highlighter and this big brush i got this one at five below for three dollars one of my favorites by the brand called cheek pro with a q and then a little highlighter here at the tip of your nose just the tip here at the cheekbone put the bronzer that we used on our eyeballs is now gonna go on our cheeks in circular motions ladies then we're gonna bring it down bring it downtown to the gobbler and then if you're wearing like a shirt like this just go ahead. Just make sure your skin matches. I'm guilty of this all the time, but I, I really dislike when this the skin doesn't match. Like all you have to do is lift your head up like this and do this. You won't have a makeup line that way. It's really simple. It takes about three extra seconds. Just a little on the gobbler, a little kiss there. You can do it. Makes your skin look softer, tanner. And when you take off your makeup or take a shower in front of someone you just met, they're like, wow, I gotta go. We've done the bronzer, probably too much to be honest. Now let's do the bottom of our eyes where our eyeball wrinkles live. Kind of like trolls under the bridge. You're there, we don't want you there, but you're there. We're gonna ignore you, but we can't ignore you, so we must make you blend in. So we're gonna take the foundation brush, or what's this? No, we're gonna take this Dollar Tree eyeshadow brush that we used somewhere up there, and we're gonna use it again. We don't need to clean it, don't worry about it, you'll be fine. And I'm just gonna do this, okay? I don't know why I do this because it makes my eyes look darker. We want our eyes to look lighter, but I just do it. Just habit. Uh, it does help the wrinkles blend in better though. And no worries because we've also got, just wipe that off or whatever, this cream that we can put here to distract from the eyeball wrinkles because now you're looking at the inside corner of my eyes wondering what is all that shiny shit right there. Well, just a distraction, a visual aid. Put some of that white shit on your nose up here. But you can put some more white shit right there. White shit right there. Now we're gonna put some mascara on the bottom and just a little bit, cause again, wrinkles. And I like to use the blue and just tap this. Lightly tap, ladies. Tap, tap, tap. You don't wanna go in for the kill. Don't do that. Unnecessary. Bottom whatever that is, mascara. Okay, we're almost done. Let's put some lippy stuff on. We have NYX Butter Gloss Professional Makeup. This one is made in Taiwan and it's in shade Madeline. It is not vegan and it's not supposed to be sticky. $4.97. This isn't bad and they're right, it is not sticky which is important because then you get your hair stuck and it's it's a pain in the ass. I like this. I would have got a darker shade or maybe a more pink shade. This is too brown, but it's fine. Now for some final touches. Back in with the highlighting powder. Highlight my eyeballs. Trying to look like a glowing Egyptian. This nice gold series. Lots of shit on my eyes. And then we just take the beauty ball and we kind of just do this. Don't really know why, but it makes me feel like if any of this stuff isn't blended together, well, hell, now it will be. That looks like a lot of makeup. Now, we're gonna set this shit off with Stay Matte by Rimmel Setting Spray, two-in-one primer and set, oh, two-in-one primer and setting spray. So I guess we could have used this at the beginning and the end. Shine Control Locks in Makeup, quick dry, oil-free, $5.97. Give this a spray, and I mean, we are spraying it, ladies, okay? Because not only is this about 10 layers of icing, my forecast says that I'm gonna be crying today. Not for any reason, I'm just a crier. I cry all the time. So I have to make sure that it stays on my eyeballs. Tears of joy, and that's not an exaggeration. I'm so damn happy to be here. I can barely stand it. So I'm just crying all the time, especially at the birds. Love bird watching. So let's take this little pin out. Let's jazz up our hair. Now I'm ready for my date 
to Books A Million because that is my favorite place to go on a Sunday. I like to get myself a macchiato and then I like to get the biggest book they have. I like to sit on the L-shaped chair. I open the book. I read a page. Remember that I'm dyslexic and have to read it again. I read the page again. Forget what I just read. Read it again. Forget what I just read again. Read it one more time. Look around to make sure everyone sees that I'm reading a big ass book. Read it again. Close it and go home. I love that on a Sunday. Oh, but today's Wednesday. You're watching this on a Wednesday. All right, ladies, gentlemen, hayes, days, and gays. Thanks again for joining me here in my bathroom for this Amazon makeup beauty tutorial haul under $5, whatever this is. Thanks for being here in this bathroom. Make sure you subscribe, like, stick around. I'm here for you every single week, twice a week. I will see you next week for something cool. Something cool. i